So we're missing a torso and a head. They say one man's trash... Oh, my God. It's different. ..is another man's treasure. Oh, my word. Wow! It's something else. Nowhere is that more true than here, at Lots Road Auction House in Chelsea. What the hell is that? Oh, it's enormous fun. I'm still hunting for a gold Afghan carpet. 1350. This is where London's wealthy elite... You sure you can do without it, ma'am? OK, 14. 1400. ..come to refill their mansions with the latest trends. Is that sort of a play on pomegranates and stuff? It's a vagina, Nick. Yeah. I think this place is a bit nuts, isn't it? But with an auction every week, the staff are under constant pressure... Who accepted this? You're not taking anyway. ..to find new items that will make the most money. I've spent here for £40,000. I think the monkeys are definite. ..and keep boss Roger Ross off their backs. I've got a short fuse, man. No, uh, no, no, but you need to apologise to me. I will hold resentments against member of staff. I will be watching for how they behave, and then I might explode at them. Welcome to the strangest auction house in Britain. Going, going, gone. It's early February, and Valentine's is just around the corner. All over Chelsea, love is in the air. Except at Lots Road. Oh, for God's sake. That table behind shouldn't be here, should it? Came okay, from us. No, Nick, 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 don't start all that bollocks. You should see the stuff no, no. we rejected. We shouldn't be taking that table. The Valentine's auction is one of the biggest in the Lots Road calendar. Give it back to me. And Boss Rogers being pickier than ever about what's coming in. Martin, you need to be on top of these guys if they're uh, taking in suspect things. Would I buy that? Um... No. Well, I reckon that works for Valentine's Day. And this is Lisa. Why did he stick a jewel where a... Uh, oh, well... ...chuff chuff should be? I wasn't ever done that. This was an afterthought. You did that. I can't <laughs> see that on camera. <laughs> <laughs> Staff announcement. Guess what? It's just gone 4 o'clock, so if you're not upstairs, you're late. 4 o'clock valuers meeting. Thank you. Valentine's Day. So we've got a fine sale on the 8th. So anyone's got any suggestions? Anything that would, someone would want to buy for Valentine's? William, you got any suggestions? Bob, got any suggestions? Nick Carter's just taken in a very good painting. Really? Normally the 8th of Feb is our best sale of the year. Now we'd normally have an overspill full of stuff, having kept it back. So oh, now we've no, done we nothing. Haven't. So everyone needs to really do it from now. All the good quality logs. And if we're doing the Valentine's thing as well, then it should be extra good. Yeah. February is the busiest time of the year, and we don't want anything substandard. Next evaluations, please. Gentlemen's got some bags. Beg, start plan. Meg to evaluations, please. Hi there. Hi, Meg. Hello, hi. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Are these just ones that you've had for a long time? Uh, yes, they belong to my late mother. It's my appropriate sort of uh, gifts for a Valentine, isn't it? Well, yeah, they could make good uh, Valentine's Day presents. This one we could try at sort of okay. 100 to 150. With Roger's words still ringing in their ears, all the valuers are under pressure to source suitably romantic items. Don't drop it. This is a beast. The golden girl. Mind where you put your hands now. Hi. Hello. Bob, Bob Hayden? Yes, me. Hi. Yes, me. But some are more romantic than others. This belongs to a 90-year-old friend of mine. It's caused an incredible so stir everywhere. Ah. It's quite something. <laughs> Good. 
rather but large, isn't it? It's difficult to know how you'd value it, whether you value this by the inch or, or whatever. <laughs> I don't, there's, a, there's a rule of thumb for that. Um, I think it's great fun. I think as a paperweight, oh, yeah. somebody would love it. Yeah, actually uh, they would, wouldn't um, they? I'll put in a sale, 80 to 150. Tongue in cheek and see what mm -hmm. we do. Once this week's items start to fill the showroom, the viewing public arrive. Oh, this is fun. Galia is one of Lots Road's biggest spenders. How are you? I'm good, you? Your necklace is looking very nice. I, I recognise oh, that. <laughs> she rarely misses an auction, and this week will be no exception. Wild horses won't keep me away. I have already noted a couple of interesting items, and I'm still on the lookout of un, you know, for unusual objects. Hopefully a lovely present for Michael, um, and uh, maybe for myself. Galia and husband Michael live in nearby Kensington, in a flat overlooking the Royal Albert Hall. It's just one of nine properties they own, all of which have been furnished with items from Lots Road. My long-suffering husband <laughs> is absolutely petrified when he knows I went to Lots Road. It's just like, you know, when I call him and say, Michael, and he knows, what have you done now? <laughs> That was precisely his reaction to Galia's latest Lots Road buy. Because I bought without seeing the tiger, I didn't quite realize the measurements. So that was a bit of a mistake, but my husband had a, yet another shock of his life. He said, are you sure, Dee, you know what you're doing and why did you get him? But it, it's nice to have an animal in the bedroom, isn't it? And it's not just in the bedroom that Galia would like an animal. This thing is absolutely adorable. I think it will be appropriate to put him in the kitchen and um, will make a really practical present for Michael this Valentine's Day, I think. I love him. Everyone else might be thinking about Valentine's. My new masterpiece. But struggling artist and eternal bachelor Nigel Kingston is only concerned with selling his latest painting. It's called Jerusalem. It's the storyboard of the song. Did those feet in ancient times walk upon England's mountains green? And my chariots of... Do you want to join in? I'm not very good at singing. Um, oh, please. All right, worth a try. Whether the painting makes it into this week's auction is down to art valuer Nick Carter. I don't think that works, Nigel. Do you not? No. I think you made a mistake in doing it on a long canvas. That goes beautifully above a double bed, that shape and size. No, and the, the flag doesn't work. Oh, I think it does. It doesn't work. I don't want it. You don't want it? No, don't want it. You don't want, want to try it? No. Not that one. It's not going to sell. It's just the wrong shape, and it's not, you've not conceived it in the right way. That has taken me three weeks to paint. Yeah, well, it's not going to do it. Nick's totally missed the point with this. It's genius. I don't, I don't know, Nigel. I'm not. You're not keen? I'm not 100%. I think there's some parts that are successful, but maybe some others yeah. that. Aren't. I thought my lamb came out rather nicely. The lamb's really cute. Yeah. I mean, maybe you know, just maybe uh, you just could cut just that out, a, stick that on a canvas. Just do a big lamb. If he's to keep the wolf from the door, Nigel's going to have to come up with something a little more Lots Road. Hey, William, are you free to meet? Yes, okay. sure. Boss Roger is also keen to turn a profit, and expects his general manager, Major William Shuttleworth to do his bit for the cause. I w happened to watch a video of Lots Road 30 years ago. <laughs> so, yeah, I know. It was pre-internet. Yeah. Obviously. Yeah, we'll see. And the room was packed. And people, we were showing the lots here, and people were literally, it was like going to the theater, mm -hmm. and the lots came out, and people were bidding or not. Um, so, somehow, I'm tasking you, how do we get more buyers 
into the building because you have more bodies, you know, and there's more more of a buzz. Yeah. Mm. But somehow, what do we need to do as a draw? I will now, now think hard about how we can actually get some more people into the cell room. William is charged to increase the footfall and the punters coming through the door. It's as simple as that. William will do what William will do, and I'm interested to see what he comes up with. It's Valentine's Day. Saint Valentine's Day. Good. <laughs> you don't just call him Valentine. Why was he a saint? Because he was a good man. Is he? Yeah, that's why people want to become saints, isn't it? <laughs> Quite evidently. OK, so on Why's that thing, love. Lance Road's Valentine's auction is just five days away. If okay. we could just start, if we draw it all together and have it in one area, that will create some romance in the cell room. That's not quite Valentine's, is it? She looks a bit like a girl I used to know. She was a showgirl as well. And her name wasn't Lola. While the staff seek out suitable items, William's thoughts are also turning to love. Roger's asked me to try and generate some more people coming physically to our uh, sales. And we've uh, thought about uh, opening the place up or charities, or in new idea, possibly even a singles night. N nothing too untoward there, but you know, sort of upmarket market dating club in a rather eccentric um, environment. William uh, mentioned this idea to me. I think it's a good idea. Everyone lives somewhere, so they've got interiors, and they'll have a lot in common. And I think we'll derive financial benefit and get more clients which is the whole point of why we're doing it. To help entice the discerning singletons of Chelsea to his event... Hi, William. Salima Manji. Yeah, had a nice, nice to, to meet you. you. Come, on, come on round the back, we'll Thank have a chat. Thank you so much. Thank you. William has enlisted the help of a local dating agency. None of the people that you're bringing will have met each other before? Complete strangers. Oh. Oh, OK. Mm. Mm. Right. I would usually think that a singles night should be held somewhere like a bar or, or something like that. Um, or, but, you know, why not? My comments are the lighting, you mm -hmm. know, because the fluorescent lighting isn't very forgiving mm -hmm. um, and it's not very atmospheric mm -hmm. for, a, for, a, for a soiree. We never thought of ourselves as a, a dating place. <laughs> it's because they're not. <laughs> But when it comes to finding love among the lots, this auction house has some previous form. Years ago, this used to be a bit of a pickup joint. People used to come um, come down here and um, wander around looking at the what was on offer and try and pick something up. All sorts of liaisons have happened. I could admit to having at least one myself. Yeah, yeah, long, long time ago. My God, that would be BC. I wasn't here 20 years ago, but I, I came at the tail end of the raucous, drunken stage. Hope it doesn't get out of control. I have absolutely no idea what 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 what, what will happen, but I, I think it's um, it'll be an entertaining evening, and I'm rather looking forward to it. With news of William's event already spreading. Struggling artist Nigel has come up with a plan to cash in. I, I've never done paintings for a singles night. I've done it to get dinner and things like that, but um, a man ha does have to eat after all. 
I'm going to try and do something that might be too difficult, though, which is a... a mock penguin wedding. And money is not the only thing motivating Nigel. When you've sort of been an artist for quite a few years, I'm not I'm generalising, but in my case, um, it's quite hard to pull because actually I'm almost always covered in paint. I'm always, always painting at night. And I'm not sure that's every girl's dream, if I'm honest. But I think I'm ready now. I think, you know, I think I'm back. I used to be prolific. You know, I'll certainly be putting a clean shirt on and seeing if I've got any of my old magic still. Probably a decent chat-up line on itself, just discussing the painting with one of them. It's such an easy sort of approach to someone to say, oh, I'm the um, bloke who did the penguins. And they say, oh, that's interesting. Shame you're so ugly. <laughs> Right, I have something to show you. Oh, yeah. You might have to warm your hands. <laughs> exactly how you imagined it. It's a paperweight, obviously. Okay. It actually belongs to uh, a sweet 90-year-old lady. <laughs> Stroke! <laughs> OK. Who do you think is going to bid for it? I think some male person will buy it. Mm -hmm. Mind your bottom. OK. Married couple Michael and Craig are regular dealers at Lots Road. Firstly, I think eight to £1,500. I concur entirely. It's quite restrained, really. Yeah. Yeah, all right, OK. We've got to talk to the client, and I can't see a problem. With the Valentine's auction just four days away, they are also on the hunt for suitable items. Hello, Bill. Hello, Deirdre. Hello, Bill. Welcome Great. to Cromwell. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Cromwell. Let's have a look in your garage and see exactly what you've got there. Today, they've come to check out a silverware collection that 85-year-old Bill is hoping to offload. This is all the stuff that I've collected in my time overseas. Well, I think we could do something with most of this. I, I, I see no point in keeping them, quite honestly. And I think we can make use of the proceeds in what we want to do together. I'm very pleased I found the sterling sign on that. Let me have a look, see if there's a mark on this. That is an inventory mark on the bottom there. If he can sell his silverware for enough money, Bill and partner Deirdre are planning to spend it on the trip of a lifetime. When you get to sort of the 80s, oh, you think, how much time have I got? I must do something with my life. Let's go and have some fun. Let's go and see sir, the rest of the world. The couple have only been together two years, but they've known each other since their teens. The first time I met her was after I'd been playing cricket for my school. I shall never forget that. 63 years later on, my youngest daughter had a significant birthday. 50 people turned up and one of them was Deirdre. But as soon as I set eyes on her, I had incredible thoughts. And it was a big, everybody was dancing. I said to him, come and dance with me. Because I hadn't danced with him till I was six, since I was about 16. And he said, I can't dance, not now. So I said, all right, I'll dance with your daughter. So I danced with the 50-year-old daughter. <laughs> the old spark was reignited. And now the couple want to make the most of every minute together. I'm happy again. And I'm just happy every morning when I wake up. And I love holding his hand, too. He's got nice big hands. <laughs> I do love holding his hand. And it feels so natural, you know? It's not like when you fall in love for the first time. It's all rather desperate. and It's just perfect, really, isn't mm. it? It has been. Will be. Will what do you mean, it has be. been? <laughs> <laughs> Will continue I, to be? I hope so. I'm going to be very selective on what we actually put into Lots Road. All right. Everybody thinks that they have um, a fortune sitting in their garage. This may not be so when we go in the hard light of day. We ha that's why we have to check everything out. 
It's a nice collection of Far Eastern and Oriental wares there, um, which are going to, is going to be interesting. Some of the silver plate does need to be presented properly because it'll only look good in, the, in their display case if it's clean. You know, you're stuffed, don't you? Well, it, it, you send me up for sitting in front of the television <laughs> watching Flog It and the Antiques Roadshow, Craig. Th this is why I know a little bit about things. You know everything, and anything you don't know is not worth knowing. <laughs> <laughs> that was very good, Craig. I like that. With any luck. The sum total of what is in that garage should pay for a, a trip um, on the French Canal or up the Rhine or wherever. Um, not, you know, on the Saga cruise ships going up to the fields because that's a lot of money. But unless we find something in there which is worth a serious amount of money, which is debatable. <laughs> Lots Road Bling, it's uh, Gilt and Gordy, that's what we do. It's part of a probate I've been doing. It is it is some interior designer's dream. My ideal price for this would be three to five hundred pounds. Spot on. I've overpriced it then. <laughs> New items are gradually coming in and the showroom is starting to fill up. Quite comfortable. Yeah. These are quite nice. Can I get those little hearts as well? I can't think about them. And Valentine's is on everyone's mind. That's it, isn't it? That's the classic. I'm sorry I forgot to buy you a present. <laughs> Michael and Craig have arrived with Bill's collection of silver. There's Indian silver, there's Chinese silver from Shanghai. Uh, you know, I mean, it's a, a lot of everything. There are over a hundred pieces, but valuer Bob must decide if any of it is right for this week's auction. Five pint jug. Pims? Well, I don't know. It's a, it was a trophy, 1940. Ah, now there is an inkwell. There's all the bits for it there. But this is definitely silver. Yeah. Is some right? of this uh, the, yeah. the real McCoy? Yes, it is. It's right. all, all this lot, is, well, most of this is silver. Though most is silver, some is silver plate and not quite so desirable. 800 standard, and this it really looks German, doesn't it, almost? Yes. Well, a Victorian yeah. sort of appearing outside. But oh, that's so, really you see that, so that is silver. That's silver. It's, it's just good. Look at those. Yes. That would grace my dining table. Yeah. There are some things that, you know, silver will sell, obviously. Yeah. Silver plate, very hard to sell. Yeah. Looking at the lower estimate figures, yeah. About fifteen hundred yeah, pounds. That's all right. Like that. Yeah, but, uh, but it's um, it's better it's... than sitting in a garage. Well, that's right. You're, we're, you know, they're all they've almost made it to the yeah. gang place now. But Bill and Deirdre shouldn't start packing their bags just yet. Auctions are difficult things to gauge, especially with antique objects or older objects. With new objects. Of course, there is always the margins, the importer's margins and things, and there are lots of margins. With antiques, there are very few margins. Um, but, you know, one can only see. <laughs> Works, doesn't it? Yeah, it does, actually. Under orders to boost numbers at this week's auction, William's overseeing preparations for his big singles night. Actual numbers of people here have remained rather static in spite of all our sort of efforts to, to increase publicity. We'd rather like to have what it was like sort of 30 years ago, i.e. a really big fizzy atmosphere here every sale. The staff's challenge is to transform the showroom into a place where romance can blossom. What's, what's the horn got to do with it? Exactly. Ah, <laughs> exactly. <the horn. laughs> Okay. It is a, a symbol of masculine... Yes. Oh, that's it, virility. Masculine virility. Would you say it's a romantic place? It's not, is it? No, uh, it's quite manual. <laughs> Just... Romance and manual labour don't really work, work do they? Well, you haven't got a chaise long. Yes, I know, we normally chaise, do. Always, chaise longs are good, absolutely oh. ideal for... <whistles> we need a bed. But romance is the last thing on Roger's mind. I'm happy for people, you know, to come and 
experience and maybe they will find some relationship. I don't know, that. that's not really, I'm not focused on that. It's about the money, honey. Valentine's Day is fast approaching. The staff have spent the week sourcing items for one of the biggest auctions of the year. Those look nice. Chicken satay. And William's about to host a singles night in the hope that those who come will be back to bid at Sunday's auction. Oh, yeah. So dim sum. It's rather good. This Romanian Prosecco is supposed to be very good. Very good with cheese. <laughs> <laughs> Staff announcement. William, to valuations, please. Nigel's here to see you, William. Nigel and some penguins are here to see you. Nigel has arrived early and has pulled out all the stops to ensure he takes full advantage of the evening. Well, I've got some decent aftershave on. Um, so, you know, I hope that hasn't been a wasted effort. Um, first time I've worn clean clothes for nearly a year, apart from the shoes, but they've been cleaned, but they're just... Not as good as they could be. Yeah, even Nigel. Ooh. <clears throat> yeah, some, um, <laughs> some... They're a bit daft, but I think they're good fun and... Penguins with a this bunch is, of this flowers. This is the wedding reception. This is called family outing. And the one hidden over here is called... Rather unoriginally, penguins in love. Oh. Yeah. I like the old penguins. Oh, I think they're quite nice. Yeah, the penguins are good. all right. They're all right, they're harmless. Bring them upstairs and we'll, we'll um, put them in the sort of reception area where everybody comes to, to so, they'll, so they'll be seen by everybody who comes in. Great. Other than Nigel, all the guests are first-timers at Lots Road. Come here. Oh, Hi. Gathered together by the dating agency. If you'd like to be coats, please... Uh, uh, They're all looking for love, but whether they're looking to buy remains to be seen. Well, the, the reason we're doing a singles night is to uh, encourage new people to come down and have a look and see what we do. And then up they like it and will come back and tell their friends. But it's also a good excuse for a jolly, so, uh, so I'm not complaining. Welcome, everybody. This is Lots Road. I hope that you may find somebody and maybe also something that you might like. <laughs> that was so good. I know I used to be a legend. The thing is, is not to be be cool, can't you? No, I, I get that, but you've got to you've got to have something coming back. Nigel's penguin paintings are proving popular. Oh, cute! <laughs> so, Pingu. They're amazing. It's yeah. very relevant for a, for a singles okay. evening. Yeah. I know. And they're providing the perfect excuse to chat. Where's the bride? Uh, that's the bride in the middle. And where's the groom? Um, uh, that's a good question. Uh, which would be the groom? I don't think it would depend, though. It would be him. But did you not th think through the scenario? No. Well, now I've got a bit carried away with it. Uh, Undeterred by his missing groom, Nigel's determined to make an impression. What's your favourite colour? But don't tell me. Is it either pink, orange, red, or green? If it's none, it's okay. It's none. Hi there. Um. No. <laughs> what's the first letter? B. Not black. No. I said blue. Oh, blue. Um, and. Any animal in the world that you like, what would it be? You can tell me. Or that I would like to have? No, just pet animal. Although pet am animal, I think I'd choose a monkey. I quite like little, you know, little monkeys. Oh, my God, you're weird. <laughs> but I can't tell you the reason I asked. But I can't tell you right now, because I've got a bit of a plan. <laughs> so far, there's plenty of flirting going on. But very little browsing. I think everyone's so busy meeting new people, they're not necessarily focusing on the you know, chairs and tables and chests of drawers. I've come for the singles evening. Yeah, well, yes, we were invited yes, to participate in the singles yeah. evening. I think the, the antiques I thought were just the wallpaper. I don't know if anyone's pulled them. Um, Willie might pull. 
Nigel, is, he's downstairs painting at the moment, so he obviously hasn't painted. Eager to impress... Never painted on a bin before. Nigel's come up with a cunning plan. She likes monkeys and her favourite colour's blue. But if you look carefully at it, you can see an outline of a monkey. Are you sure you want to give that to the object of your love? Um, I think you should live down to Tesco's garage and buy you buy her a £2.99 bunch of daffodils, as opposed to freaking her out with this satanic monkey. <laughs> Here you go, Arabella. No. No, it's a very, very, very abstract blue monkey. Oh, Here my you. God. No, but if you... Oh, my God, that's amazing. <laughs> no, it's not amazing, but I haven't had long enough, unfortunately, to do it. No, that's amazing. Properly, but I just wanted to... So when you become really, really famous... Well, it's signed, I'll... yeah. Yeah, so I'll be able to... Yeah, so that was why I was asking you about what your favourite colour is. Thank you very much. That's but very, I very didn't... kind. No, me. it's just trying to be fun, but... No more than that, so... Yeah, that's really sweet. Sorry. Thank you very much. My, my pleasure. Well, I think she used the word amazing quite a few times, but she may do that naturally. So please don't judge me as an artist. It was awful. But if it made her smile good enough. This is my song. These rugs are interesting. Right? Upstairs, the night finally seems to be heading in the right direction. We've seen a really nice table yeah. in there, nice mahogany table. We haven't found um, the man of our dreams yet. Mainly here to meet different individuals, but it's also lovely to come along and appreciate a lot of the antiques. I'm trying to kit out your flat and also meet young gentlemen. <laughs> Two birds, one stone. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's gone extraordinarily well. I think everybody uh, that I can see has been thoroughly pleased. Um, we've, uh, and I've been talking with some people who are very keen to come here and bid on it. So not only, as I said in my little welcoming speech, we might have, they might have found something, let alone someone. But we'll see about it. Later. Someday. The day of the big Valentine's auction. After a hard week, the staff are putting the final touches to the showroom. Now, all William needs is lots of loved up buyers. Roger wants to see more people at the auctions. So here we are on the morning of the sale, and I'm wondering whether that all, all my efforts at the singles night is actually going to translate into more people here bidding. But so far, it's not looking good. I haven't seen anyone from Singles Night yet. Um, maybe just like one person, but it doesn't seem like it's been too successful. So, I don't know, could be a bit of a disaster, who knows? A few of the regulars are here. They're gorgeous. They are very special. They're so pretty. I don't think we need that, June. Maybe you shouldn't look. <laughs> like a dog's bone. <laughs> One person Lots Road can always rely on is Galia, who's got her heart set on a special gift for husband Michael. Well, he's had all the chocolates and champagne and, and other presents before, so it's nice to give him something he doesn't expect. Yes, Michael, don't behave like a pig. <laughs> don't drink like a pig. Don't eat like a pig. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want a handbag, darling? There's a Chanel not, handbag. Not, not. Oh, you'd love that. I'll buy that for you for Valentine's Day. A Chanel handbag. You look so good with it, my love. It's your colour. Michael and Craig are here to support childhood sweethearts Bill and Deirdre. Hi, nice to see you all. Who are hoping today's auction will make them enough money for a much longed for holiday. Table, I, I think somebody will love to buy these, look. Well, that's that's a very good meat tray. That's a very good meat tray. The problem is a lot of people don't like them. Mm. Too old-fashioned. But we'll see. I hope that makes some money. So they I can go on holiday, I hope so. Yes. We haven't got that long. You can't take it with you. So we might as well just enjoy each other, enjoy what we're going to do. And that's all we want to do for the rest of our lives, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. yeah.
So going back now, we're going 501. That's the first of the silver, most of which has come from a good private collection. Mm. There you are. There's the silver done. It's yours. Bob has estimated that the silver could fetch around 1,500 pounds. And 501 there, the American Sterling tea service there. Good lot this. I'll start the bidding off there at 300 pounds and 20, 350. Anyone want to go 380? 380 bid. What about 400? 400 is bid. 450. 500. 520 bid. 550 here. What about 580? 560 at the minimum I can do, no? Otherwise, I've got to sell it at 540. Going, going. Gone. Gone. Bill and Deirdre are off to a good start with the first lot going for 540. 502, Continental Silver Fruit Bowl. And I'll start the bidding off on that lot at 320, 350. Anyone want to bid me 380? Bid. 380 bid, 400, 420, 450, 480, 480, 500. I'm at 500 pounds then, going, going. Gone. So. And the next at 500 pounds. 5028, silver plated serving tray, 80 pounds for that. Anyone bidding me 80? While some items are attracting more interest than others. One, two, three. Not sold at 80, that lot. Most of the collection is being snapped up. 90 on my left, 100, 120, 130, 140, man, 150, 160, 170, 190. I'm at 190 pounds then on my left, unless I see more by number four, four, one. Gone. It was much more exciting than we expected. This is another episode in our life. And I'm so glad everything we got here and we saw it and it all happened. We'd like to know how much we made. The couple may have had a good day, but have they made enough money for their dream holiday? Have you had any? Um. 1877, 1877. Well done, hey? Good. What about this one on the net? There's another one by Wang Wang Ling, pig. Next up is the pig painting Galia's got her eye on. Oh, a pig. Its guide price is 140 to 240 pounds. The pig at 140. Who's bidding me 160? 160, thank you, madam. 180 against. You're bidding two, 200, 220, 230. 250, it's got to be 280. Yes, it's yours at 280. You've beaten the book at 280. Oh, 300, madam. 310. 320. 320. 330. 340 on the net. The picture is attracting plenty of interest. 340. 360. 380. 380, sorry. Oh, no, 390. Can we tell you 390 with the but lady? But Galia's used to getting what she wants. With you, madam. Is it 440 on the net? Maybe it's the subject. I don't know. <laughs> 420 once in the room here. 420 twice. The internet, sorry, you're not getting it. 420. What's your number? 244, wasn't it? Sold in the room. Bad luck, the internet. 244. Well done, madam. At 420. She's paid well over the estimate, but Galia has got what she came for. I'm actually pleased to know, even though I'm overpaid, that there were other interested parties. Well, and eight, beautiful pick. Class, Yet to think of the name. Valentine. <laughs> I'm standing on the front row at 180, 437, charming lady, short man, 437, 180. You got it. As the day draws on, there's still no sign of anyone from William's singles night. But fortunately for him, the auction house is packed. Realistically, all I'm interested in is if enough people turn up and buy today. So let's see if that translates into money, because that's what I've charged him to do. It's halfway through Lots Road's big Valentine's auction. Does anybody want a glass of Prosecco? There we go. Maurice, can you get me another bottle out of the fridge? Because I think we're going to be, it's going to be at least a two or three bottle of this one. Oh, oh God. Five, two, one. That's really nice, isn't it? I'd love you to buy me that for Valentine's Day. That's fantastic. 750, 800. The Valentine's sale is usually one of the busiest. And today is no exception. 433, 800. Sold, you've got it. Which is hopefully good news for Nigel, who's keen to sell his penguin paintings. It's very busy. A lot of very wealthy people by the looks of things are here. So 
in a way, I wish I hadn't. I wish I'd got four or five big lots. You know, it's dangerous to be too greedy. They're really good, aren't they? Oh, they're brilliant. And there seems to be some interest. I just like the way that the effect comes yeah. out with the distance. Yeah. Excellent. Romantic. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think they hit the cute factor. I mean, any other day they won't sell, but today they have to sell. 150 pounds, I'd say, would probably be a reasonable price for them. Because they're originals, they're hand painted, they're pretty, you know, that'd be good. Something to tell a story about, wouldn't it? Mm. I'll give yeah, it a try. They are a real feature. And it's a piece of art, it's having a piece of art, as opposed to going out and buying a print as well, which, you know, anything, yeah, anyone can exactly. do. Exactly. Never bid <laughs> before, have we? Give it a go. No, <laughs> give it a go. It's very hard to put a price on them, you know, something of such astonishing beauty. They could go for literally anything. And not number 91. First Nigel Kings has got this week. And, oh, it's the wedding day. There we are. And I'll start the bidding off there. Shame God, it's all going to go quiet now. Anyone want to go 80 now? 80 pounds, 90. Anyone want to bid me one? The couple appeared interested. 90. Nope, not sold that one at 90. But with no takers... Lot number 92, this is Penguin's Lot. This is the, uh, oh, this is when he's the uh, first date, I think, Martin. Look, it's got flowers. It's on to Penguins in Love. Uh, 70 pounds on this lot. 70 pounds. Anyone bidding me 70? 70. 70. Luckily for Nigel, the couple are penguin lovers. 100. 100 pounds is bid. Any advance on 100 pounds, I'm going to sell at 100 once, twice, three times at 100. Down on my left, what's that number again at 100? 507. You got that lot. Well done. They snap up not one. Once, twice, three times on my left at 100. Well done, so that's yours. But two. What about against 80 bid? 90. And a third is sold to an anonymous buyer. I'm at 100 pounds. Gone. You got it, so that's yours. It's the first time in months Nigel has sold a painting at Lots Road. Ladies and gentlemen, Nigel, Britain's most contemporary artist and complete lunatic. He's actually here today. Stand up, Nigel. You know you love it. Take a big round of applause, Nigel. Thank Everyone you. loves you. Yeah, it's nice. Nice day. Three of them sold. So, just the one didn't. All right, so you're having that one. I hope we got them the right way around now. And that the top one. one. That was it, wasn't it? Yes. Yes. All right. Lovely. Actually, just to double check, they are, Joe. <laughs> they are. That's fine. They're fine. Yeah, good. It's very nice to meet the people that bought them on a sort of down day. I don't have many down days, but if I had a down day, <clears throat> it's nice to remember that people have got these paintings in their house at various places, and it makes me, perks me up. Really character, charming. isn't he? Real character. Real character. And I love the fact that he's still got the paint he's on got his the jacket. paint on his jacket. Brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Nigel. <laughs> right, lot number 521. Interesting lot. There's just one last item left to sell. Um, God, this might be quite hard to sell, mightn't it? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, who's going to start me off there? 80 pounds for that. 80 pounds for the phallus. 80 pounds for the phallus sculpture. Oh. Anyone want to go 80? 80 pounds is bid. Anyone want to go 90? Otherwise, I'm at 80 pounds. Are we all done at 80? I'm going to sell at 80. Number today, sir, at 80. 369. At 80 pounds. Well done for buying that, gentlemen. Yo, yeah. hey, yo. Anyway. <laughs> Five, two, two. 80 pounds for a phallus. Mm. That was a good well, bargain. I thought that was a, val a, a late Valentine's Day present oh, for you. thank you. I'm thrilled by you're our mad. Purchase. You're mad, you're mad. Fantastic. It's the morning after the Valentine's auction. And time for Roger to announce whether or not the sale was a success. Hi, thanks very much for coming. I've heard yesterday from the auctioneer and some other people that it was one of the best afternoons at Lots Road for clients, levels activity, it wasn't only standing room only, but there were loads of people, and it was fantastic. I'm delighted that we were 10% up, so a big thank you for all the people that worked extra special on the Valentines. Good. 
So fantastic result yesterday. The numbers are up. The valuers will be delighted. I'm delighted. William should be delighted. And of course, he can't rest on his laurels because every auction's different and we always need more buyers. He has to keep performing and he has to justify his wages. I'm delighted to say that the uh, Valentine's Day sale was a, was a success, and in spite of the fact that I didn't see any evidence of any of those who came to the singles night uh, coming in. But we live in hope they might come next time. Roger's happy. For now, at least. Beautiful. I love looking at elephants. With the money from their silverware, Bill and Deirdre are planning to go on safari. There's nothing more land. wonderful than being on a safari. It's just the piece of it, and they do it so well. It's kind of part of the town, part of Africa that we both want to be. It's in Natal. It's a beautiful country. OK, what do you think? Mm, down a bit. It looks really good on that watch. And oh. Nigel's penguins are settling into their Nigel. new home. There you go. What do you reckon? Beautiful. Perfect. Perfect. First meeting. Wow. First kiss. Yeah, I love it. Cool. Brilliant. <laughs> Perfect. Well done. Love it. At Galia's... There's a little uh, present. Oh, wow. For Valentine's. It's Valentine's Day. You can never have enough of Tiffany little boxes. They are great. I've got a little surprise for the Valentine as well. Voila. Um... I think they're trying to tell me something. Not to behave like this, yeah. yes. It's different, thank you. Oh, good. <laughs> well, it's your present. You don't look a gifted pig in the mouse, dear. <laughs> Michael, come back. <laughs> and with a small addition... I mean, look at that. It's a dicky bow on a dicky. Craig's gift takes pride of place in the sitting room. That is a work of art in itself. Oh. 